All right, today we're gonna to be talking about the difference between voltage, current, and resistance. So when we're starting out and learning about electricity, it's really easy to get these mixed up and trying to visualize what these things really are when we're talking about circuits. So that's the aim of today's video, is to talk about these ones briefly, and they give you a brief overview so you can start to begin your learning journey. So we start talking about voltage. The way I like to think about voltage is a measurement of pressure. It's that pushing force of electrons around the circuit. And a good analogy here is a water tower. Let's say we've got a water tower here with a large amount of water. You cut a hole in the bottom, a lot of water is going to start coming out. That's because there's a large force, a large gravitational force pulling down on that water, which means there's a large, what we call sort of a potential difference. So there's a large difference between the top here and the bottom, which means there's more pressure. If you look at this, um, this other water tower here, there's less water here, which means there's less of a potential difference, and therefore it's going to be less voltage. So think about voltage that way. It's the amount of pressure of the electrons going around in a circuit. Next one is to talk about current. So when I think of current, I like to think of it as the amount of electrons going around a circuit at any given time. Just because you have a large amount of voltage doesn't necessarily mean you've got a large amount of electrons flowing around in that circuit. And that's what a measurement of current is. Just think of it this way, um, one amp, which is a measurement of current, is equal to one coulomb, which is equal to six by 10 to the power of 18, which is a huge number of electrons per second. So when we're talking about current, I like to sometimes visualize those electrons, that amount of electrons going around at any given time per second in a circuit. And which leads me to the last part, which is resistance. So it's easier to talk about resistance once we've already talked about current. If I was to take my circuit here and put like a little divider in here, put something that's a little bit challenging for those electrons to pass through, that's what we really call resistance. Or this is what's actually is called a resistor, but that's the idea of resistance. You're kind of limiting the amount of electrons going through the circuit. And the reasons you might do that is this light bulb here, it might not be able to handle one amp or a whole lot of electrons at any given time. So we use this resistor to re restrict the amount of electrons that come through, so protect our internal components. And the last thing we'll just talk about is this thing called Ohm's Law. And you'll see this a lot on your learning journey when we're talking about electricity. It's basically, it shows you that there's a balance between voltage, current, and resistance. And if I wanna figure out, say, the voltage of any circuit, or the voltage I should apply to any circuit, I can use a measurement of current, times resistance and vice versa. If I want to figure out the resistance, I can use voltage divided by current. All these work together. So it's hard to talk about one without mentioning all the others. And it definitely helps to understand each one of these things and how they relate to each other inside of a circuit. I hope this video has been useful. Got any questions, put them down below and I'll see you in the next video.